Welcome back to another episode from our FM22 Unknown to Icon series. This is episode three. We are still in our first season. We have started at the bottom of the English divisions and we'll try to get to the promised land of the Premier League. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. But most importantly, come and say hi in the comment section. In this episode, we show you some highlights. Then I'm going to take you through how we set up our match plans. First match of today's episode, we go up against Eve's Fleet. They are sixth place. This is our seventh league game as St. Albans manager, and we've won one. And you saw that in the last video. We get the winner taking over a team who's bottom of the table. It's much harder than I thought it was going to be, but things are looking promising. We're scoring more goals than what the other manager was doing. It's just we're conceding more. Now, is possession short passing narrow for the right way to do this? Should I just go old school and lob the ball forward and find those gaps over defenders bringing faster players i like this brand of football so i kind of want to stick to it and i said that i want to remain consistent with my tactics and we don't have a ball anymore we've lost it eves fleet's got the ball to their goalkeeper he's just taken for piss oh he really has what a ball through my defense and is that kundal Kundal gets the ball. Okay, right. We've got it. It's 1-0 to Eve Fleet. We've got it. Come on. All through ball to nil. Nil had scored two against Oxford City. And he finds the net for us again. Great stuff. Right on to the next highlight. There's another goal. So it's one all. Jeff has got the ball. Can we get the winner? Jeff has gets it. Yes. 2-1 to St. Albans. Right now, Eve Fleet's got it. There's another goal here. Kundal, can goalkeeper get it? Oh, that was all through it. Bounced. And Bingham get it for Eepsley. It's now 2 all. Don't forget, Eepsley are sixth in the league. And we are bottom. Oh, great save there by Johnson. Bingham gets it back in Kundal. Bingham and Kundal. Hey, they've got a bit of a partnership together there. So it's 3 2 to Eepsley. And they are on for attack again. Bingham and gets past my defense. My defense just looks really, really bad. And then on for attack again, it's 4-2. Bingham. It's going to be another one, isn't it? 5-2. It's getting embarrassing. 73rd minute on the clock. Now we go into the 90th minute. Can we just get one to make it a little bit better? Soul in the box. Oh, that was actually a really nice goal. 5-3. What a game. Eight goal thriller. Not good for us. But it just shows that we're competing. Let's just have a look at the stats. So they had 24 to our 17, 12 on target versus seven miles up on for XG there. Yeah, they really, really came out second half and just took control of the game. They had more possession than us. Right, so match plans. Why we do it? Because we've got instant matches. Yes, I do miss watching the games. But one good thing about it is that I'm not having a heart attack when someone scores against me in the 91st minute after me having 25,000 shots and they've had their one and they win the game. It is more stress-free. We decide scenarios in our match plans and I'm going to take you through that now. So I have one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight scenarios. And the majority of them is where I'm not winning. So let's work backwards here. So if I'm winning a game by two plus goals at any time, I want to continue to use my current tactic, but the mentality changes down to cautious. And then you can make some touchline instructions as well, but we haven't done that. And then our other winning scenario would be winning by one plus goal, but this time, not any time. It's within 70 to 90 minute game finishes. But actually, we just want to hold on to our one nil lead and just play a bit more cautiously and then if we're drawing the game around for 45 to 70th minute we want my team to start pushing a bit so we start then playing a positive mentality and then in for 70th to 90th minute if we're drawing actually the mentality is like right okay we tried pushing it's still a draw let's go back to balance in between 70 and 90th minute and if we get nick a goal great but if we don't and then we're settled for the point maybe 
that might be wrong thing to do but end of the day this mentality right here of these instructions are all about we're bottom of the league every point is going to count right how about if we're losing so if we're losing by one goal 70th to 90th minute still current tactic but we go more positive losing by two goals 70th to 90th minute we go attacking yeah with two goals down we need to push we need to go allow any substitutions to be made losing by three goals so if we're losing three nil in for the first 10 15 minutes or any time in the game we've changed to a more attacking formation 4-3-2-1 which i had for my norwich save and we're just playing positive because it's already a really attacking formation we don't want to go too overboard because end of the day we could be end up losing four five six nil and that's it that's it i mean you can create loads and loads this is my first time actually trying match plans so to be fair this might be complete crap but i want to learn it i want to see what happens we're going to keep these match plans until the end of the season and then we're going to review and maybe change some bits around right that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i catch you on for the next one <laughs>